Engineer 775, we got a box. We have two boxes. An Air 40, it's a Primus. Energy where you need it, wind turbine. And we are going to be playing with this. Elijah and I just uh, opened up the box to see what was in it. What's in it? There's the... The stuff. Yes, yeah, stuff. <laughs> we haven't even looked at the instructions. Do we ever look at the instructions, Elijah? No, because we're hunts. What? No, don't say that. Uh-oh. <laughs> because we're hunts, he said. Okay. But anyway, I think it's just because we're guys and we think we can do it, right? So anyway, we're going to have some fun tomorrow. Elijah and I are, are going to take this little, little turbine, turbine. You can look it up. It can be pronounced both ways. And we're going to mount it to our golf cart, right? And we're going to produce a perpetual motion machine. Actually, we're just going to have fun. This thing has a seven mile per hour um, startup speed. So we should be able to spin it pretty good on the golf cart. And I'm just curious if it will extend our range. And maybe we'll drive it to town. And if we don't get home, we'll just have to spin it by hand to charge the battery to get home. That'd be pretty silly, wouldn't it? I'll make a lot. We'll make a lie just spin the. Turbine now. <laughs> anyway, I got my helper. We've been having fun. Um, we got some other things to monitor. We got an amp meter. We have a stop switch, and we got all these parts. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this to the golf cart somehow, some way tomorrow morning on Saturday, and uh, show you what we can come up with. So it'd be kind of cool just to. I just want to see how it functions. And then we have a 48 volt battery bank, of course, in the golf cart. And so we think it'll work. Well, let's see what happens. Are you gonna have? Are you gonna? You gonna put this thing together? I'm gonna help you put it together. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here to help. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the good help. Elijah's an awesome helper. So we're gonna let's build this thing. Okay. So far on Elijah's perpetual motion machine, what have we done? We've Maybe. we've mounted, come up with a way. We had an old gun rack on here, and we had a way figured out a way to mount the Air 40 wind turbine to the golf cart. Got some struts here that are bolted and self-tappered into the golf cart. And what else did you do, Elijah? We connected these. Yeah, we got our stop switch. I don't know if you can see our stop switch here, we'll be able to, that'll be our run. In the middle is just open circuit voltage. It won't be doing anything. And then this is putting the brake on. And then we have our ammeter mounted here so we actually could see that we are actually charging the battery. We're doing a little service on the battery right now. We just, sorry about the brightness, just watered the battery. It has an automatic auto watering kit on it. And we're cleaning terminals, putting some terminal spray on, just refreshing, cleaning up the battery a little bit. We put a cord grip through the bolt kit of the Golf carts, we can feed our wires in, trying to make this nice. We pre-drilled some holes. What else on the other side, Elijah, what did we do? Through this flange, we got our positive, negative, and ground coming through the bottom of that flange plate, up through the pipe, and connected with butt splice connectors to the output of the turbine. Again, the turbine has its own connect controller internally, and so it's outputting 40, 48 volts. Okay, continue our little perpetual motion project. Elijah and I put this thing together. He's not feeling good. I think we worked him too hard. <laughs> so um, our final product is here, a golf cart perpetual motion wind turbine. Let's, let me show you some of the features. It's got the Air 40 mounted here above the, the golf cart, of course, anchored and strutted, and we've got a couple of accessories here that might help us to uh, make a over unity device we have the uh, tried and true flux capacitor here from O'Reilly Auto Parts the uh, part number will be in the description of this video we have an ammeter to prove to you that we're actually putting out some amps and uh, making some juice it's a 48 volt golf cart 
and the turbine oh, is right in the sun. I don't know if you can read. I'm going to zoom in on here. This is a 48 volt, 6.25 amp, 160 watt model, Air 40. Rated RPMs 1200 and uh, 37 2017. Brand new, made in the USA. Okay, so I'm going to go down and pick up Elijah, and he's going to be my co pilot. And we're just going to do some do some testing and see how she behaves and see how she charges. I wanted to see how far I could go, but since he's not feeling too well, uh, we're not going to be able to do a full test on the perpetual motion device, though we'll see, see how she performs. And all joking aside, because it is April 1st, um, these are neat little turbines. I uh, sold one to a gentleman in Montana that's been charging his Sunrunner for over a year. He's got it on a tip-up uh, 30 foot um, tower and he has a 12 mile an hour average wind speed so he has crazy good wind. We don't have any wind here but I wanted to play. Um, our wind charts are not very good. I'll post the wind map here shortly. So but I'm gonna I'm gonna put one up here anyway and I'm gonna put it up on the top of that oak tree whether it kills me or not I'm going to put one up on a tower out of that tree so that's the tallest structure I have on my property that tree <laughs> and I'm gonna put a maybe a 30 foot pole sticking out of the top of that tree and anchor it to all the branches with cables and guy wires and make some 48 volts so I have a 48 volt system so in the meantime doing a little testing getting familiar with the air 40 and I happen to have a portable 48 volt battery bank so kind of fun just curious how much it would extend the uh, the range of the golf cart. Now we did this for fun um, for me to teach Elijah about Ohm's law. So we've been having him measure the amperage and check the the volts because you can check the volts on the flux capacitor right here. This is really a stop switch that will um, um, and just be able to shut off the the charging of the the turbine. And so he can measure amps and measure volts and multiply them and figure out how we're doing at different points in our journey and let me know how many watts we're putting it in. If we had another, need to have another ammeter hooked to the battery to see what we're actually pulling out of the battery and then add to it what we're putting in and see what our net loss or, or gain is. <laughs> gain on the downhills, loss on the uphills, and just kind of, you know, we're not going to get as crazy as plot all this out, but just having fun on April Fool's with an Air 40, but they're serious little, they, they're good little turbines. A lot of people knock them, but when you don't have any air, air when you don't have any wind, um, and you have very low startup speed, these smaller turbines do well. This is like a seven mile per hour startup speed to this guy. So that that's that's helpful. So you do, if you have solar and wind, you can do a nice hybrid system. Um, the solar, of course, starts cranking as we go into summer. In the winter, wind is typically um, your, a, a great source of energy, and the two together make a very nice hybrid. And even when there's bad weather and the solar's not working, typically there's a lot of wind around the storms. So you pick up a little bit there. So um, to being able to do a hybrid, whether it's hydro and solar or wind and solar, solar to me is the hub. I build your system around solar. And, uh, and then add your others, unless you have some crazy rivers or waterfalls or exceptional wind. But for most folks that I run into, having solar as the hub and adding some wind is the way to go. All right, Engineer 775 back here with Elijah. We're just sitting here at the end of our driveway and we got the wind turbine going and we've got, we got you checking the amperage and we got a full battery. We're gonna drive like maybe maybe 20 miles we got a little breeze today so she's running and she's behaving look at that get any amperage out of this thing and we got a full battery so we got to make some room so let's go do it all right are you ready eli I'm eli's ready. been a big helper on this project and um he's done great so and i got and i'm all equipped i got my i got my beanie on i get it's all about props today she spinning? She's spinning. Hey, Bo. <laughs> oh, this is sad. All right, let's see. Does she really get spinning? She does. Oh, there goes the turbine. Let's see what she's doing. 
All right, stay on the road. Oh, all right, we're gonna go this way for a while. Oh, we got her turned around into a headwind, so she's uh, she confused. The wind's going that way. Let's get her turned around here. There she goes. Let's get her cranking. All right, let's see what kind of amperage we're gonna get. Get the switch forward. and we were like 55 volts. So what do we do? We multiply them. Yep. Okay, 15, 1.5 times 50. We're putting about 75 watts. All right, the ammeter's just not picking up. I think I need a couple turbines to do it, so. All right, I like this first attempt at perpetual motion. The air turbine is charging the 48 volt battery that's causing us to propel forward. Put the flux capacitor in here, gives us a little bonus, a little edge. Oh, she's slowing down. I think we're in, we got a tailwind this way. This wasn't a very good direction to go. What do you think? You're driving to town, 10 or so miles. We're gonna scare people half to death. People are like, what in the world? You wanna wear the beanie? No. no, it's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? It is. You wear the beanie. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Listen to her crank now, Eli. Okay, we're back with Elijah's perpetual motion. Oh, we lost our beanie. Oh my goodness, we'll have to come back. Because we gotta watch, we'll come back, we'll get it. We got enough power to run forever, remember? All right, how about our amperage? Um, two. We're two amps? Two amps. Going down this hill, this is where we gain, folks. Stay on the road. Consistent two amps. She's doing pretty good. She sounds good. I can't believe we lost, we lost our helmet. Alright, we're doing about 20 miles an hour maybe. We've got 2.6 amps. Yeehaw! We could drive forever. Off into the sunset we go, Eli. This is awesome. You think we're losing or are we gaining? Co constant two amps here, so 100 watts. We're probably burning up a little bit more than 100 watts, don't you think? Oh, there's three amps. Oh, we got some good wind. 150 watts. Oh, she's got a sweet spot to her. I can hear it. We got 4.9. 4.9. We might blow our fuse. I only put a 5 amp fuse in here between this and the battery. We got we had 4.9. That's 250 watts. Oh, she's doing beautiful now. Oh, we're about it's four. We're ready to blow the fuse. We'll have accomplished an amazing feat today of alternative energy breakthroughs, wind-powered golf carts, perpetual energy machines, all on April Fools. Uh, I know this has been a long video. Just could not help us out. No Primus. Thank you for putting up with my silly video. You probably haven't. Very few people.
people have probably gone this far. How many minutes have we gone into this? But anyway, appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. We don't do all, not all our videos are this crazy. We're actually going to mount this. This in a park, in another turbine side by side on a farm very high up in Georgia. And um, so stay tuned for the installation of a hybrid system using the Air 40s. Alright, think we can make it to the house? Yeah. Alright. If we get the whole roof, I'll be like... Elijah, you were a great help on this project. I hope you learned something. But we can drive forever. We just keep doing laps around the neighborhood. Is this thing going to run forever? I think it is. You think it is? Cool.